Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another video. Before we get started on this channel for the last <laughs> only nine days, but I've revamped this channel uh, to document me selling options to try to make some extra income and just see how that goes. Maybe it'll go well, maybe it'll go poorly, but in the end, I hope it's entertaining for you guys. And if it goes well, maybe motivational for you uh, to check out too, if you're interested. And if you aren't interested, please consider subscribing. That way you don't miss any videos in the future. And today we're gonna to talk about a new stock that I'm going to try selling the wheel strategy on. We're gonna do a little quick math and just see how much I can make, at least in this week, this upcoming week. Um, in the last video, I completely ignored this stock, and actually, I didn't fill in my spreadsheet that I use right here. I don't know what I was doing. I think I was sipping too much rum and coke, but I didn't fill this in with the latest uh, puts and calls that I sold on Friday, so I apologize for that. So if you watch Friday's video where I talked about SoFi specifically, um, I didn't really go into what more occurred on Friday. But so far, for the month of November, I've made with capital appreciation because we sold uh, some wheel on the spy that got some capital appreciation and also Robin Hood, which both of these could have been um, substantially more, but that's just how it goes. 988 bucks so far this month, which is wild. But if you look at the spreadsheet, and this is the spreadsheet that I threw together that I use to just keep track of puts and calls that I sell and like how much premium I've gained from this, just to hold myself accountable. Um, this line right here, 185, is a new stock, and it's Pinterest. And you might be wondering, how did I find Pinterest? What made me interested in selling a put on Pinterest? And this is another scenario where I actually sold a put uh, basically in the money to acquire those shares and to start selling the wheel strategy on. I did the same thing last week with Robinhood, and that turned out well, and I might continue to do that with Robinhood, but I also... Uh, saw that Pinterest took a steep dive and sold a put on it as well. And one thing I like to do, and I never mentioned this before, is I like to go on Yahoo Finance and look at the top losers. And you can actually click on this right here. It's on the home page, and it shows you all of the stocks uh, descending by change percentage, how much they've lost, and you can look at stocks that have lost a substantial amount in just one day. And Pinterest is actually right now in the top five. And the reason being, I looked into one of their articles, and we can look at it real quick here. This tip ranks is what I looked at. It's because they lowered the revenue estimates in 2025 by 2%, but they did claim that there was some strong regrowth in their engagement. So the strong regrowth and engagement kind of was overshadowed by the lowering of the revenue estimates, and it was down about 20% on Friday. So I decided to sell a put on this, basically in the money, and acquire the shares. And by the way, if you don't have Robinhood yet and you're interested, I'll have a link in the description. You can get $5, and this will be in any stock that you choose. You might have a chance at 200 but it's very rare. And I didn't realize this, but it is any stock that you choose. It says select their stock, so that's kind of cool. So if you have a particular company, you want a free five dollars and uh, you can sign up for Robinhood. And so because I sold this in the money at a strike of twenty nine dollars and fifty cents right now, Pinterest is at twenty nine dollars and eleven cents. Depending on the price action this week, I am going to look at selling a call on Pinterest. And if we look at the options, at least as of right now, and sell a call, one that I might be interested in is this thirty dollar and fifty cent strike at $15 premium. And why I like this is I think it's enough in capital appreciation for a week, and also the premium is not terrible. It's about half of a percent of $30 for one week for a pretty good company. Of course, this could definitely vary come Monday morning, so I'm just going to have to keep an eye on it. But if everything were to stay the same, I made $44 in premium, so 44 plus the 15 if we were to sell that call today, that equals $59. And then also the capital appreciation of $100 if that were to get assigned, that'd be $159 divided by seven, so we're going to include weekends, maybe I shouldn't, maybe I should just do weekdays, but that will be $22 a day in just one week selling the wheel on Pinterest if obviously everything goes as planned. If they get assigned 
at $30.50, and I also get this amount of premium. That's what this is based off of. And I don't recommend this method, by the way, of uh, just going to Yahoo Finance, look at the biggest, biggest losers and selling puts on those companies. Um, I did very little research into the decline of the stock. Uh, so if for some reason you're taking anything that I put out here as advice, which I hope you don't, um, just, I guess, be more careful when you do this. But yeah, looking forward to the week. We'll see what happens. Of course, I'm going to keep you guys all posted and try to make consistent videos just to show you how things go. And hopefully you find this fun. I do. I love calculating the like what if scenarios. I think it's very exciting. This excites me because I mentioned this before. I like to state my returns in terms of Chipotle. So this is like two Chipotle orders a day that I get for free, which is absolutely amazing. So thanks for watching. Really appreciate it. Uh, if you like this, please consider subscribing. And I hope to see you in a future video.